It's time to rank how well these AP classes and exams turn into college credit. If you're not subscribed, this is the kind of content you want. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, and let's get right into it. So let's go over the categories real fast. Yup means that it definitely counts and helps. Probs means that it most likely counts. I don't know means it really fluctuates. Tough means that it probably doesn't help and the exam is probably not worth your time and money. And not worth it means that it's a complete waste of your time. Maybe take it to boost your GPA, but not really for credit. So let's get right into it. Um, I'll just go ahead and disclaimer. I go to UT Austin and this is all relevant with my experience there. So let's get right into this. So the first class is going to be comparative government. And we're going to say that is an I don't know. Uh, I'll explain why. Uh, comparative government is about other countries and especially in a public university. They don't care too much unless you're a government major or something like that. That's why it really depends. Put it in the I don't know category. Next, we have APES, AP Environmental Science. I'm going to go ahead and say that's a probably. Most colleges require a science credit of some kind, and APES is a pretty easy exam to take. I got a four on this exam myself, so it did count for credit. Oh, by the way, you do need to be passing these exams, and to keep it safe, you know, always go for the five. If you happen to get a four, that's okay. Threes are a bit iffy on credit transfers. Now, AP Lit is a yup. Um, every single college would want your lit credit. Um, it's an essential part of a liberal arts education, especially, which is what most U.S. universities are founded upon. Lang, Lang can be replaced with your SAT essay score or your ACT essay score usually, but we'll go ahead and it's still an essential if you don't have those. So we're going to say it's a yup. Now we have micro. Micro is, I would say, especially as a business major, that it's a vital credit to have. And I didn't get it through AP credits. I got it over the summer uh, through community college. But I'd say it's a probably. Probs. Uh, it's important to have micro. It was a pretty interesting class, too. Uh, I would take it. Spanish Lang. <laughs> Sorry, this is a little confusing now. Spanish Lang is not exactly relevant because language credits aren't really a necessity, especially at UT. So I took the exam. I got a five, but I didn't really redeem the credit. So we'll say it's a tough. I think in like specific situations, maybe it'll count. I don't think it was not worth the time, but it definitely didn't help for me. And maybe I shouldn't have spent the 90 to $100 to take that AP exam. So AP US history is probably an essential at most places so we're gonna go ahead and say it's a yup and then physics 2 i'm gonna say is not worth it uh, i say that because oh, firstly i have some kind of beef with physics as well it's my class that i struggled with the most in terms of ap exams i did redeem my physics 2 credit for one of my sciences but i don't think it's worth it i think you can take physics 1 i think you can take apes and then maybe take a uh, more challenging um, kind of science class, maybe a chem or something like that, or a comp sci, because that's a good way to explore industries, but I wouldn't take physics too, unless it's a good class for you in terms of knowledge or GPA. Now, AP Hug, <laughs> funny enough, I did not claim this credit. You'd think it'd be essential, because it's usually a staple AP course, but I didn't claim it. It's almost too basic but yeah, I'm going to go put in an I don't know because I would think it would be an important credit to have, but it didn't have any value for me, really. Psych, I did not take. I do wish I ta do wish I take it because I had a behavioral sciences credit that I didn't get, so I'm going to make it a ye probably because it was a credit. And I mean, I would say classes like that you'd prefer to take in college just because they're very, I think they're very applicable to real life and I think it's important to have it. Now, bio, again, the people have sciences requirements. I'd say it's an I don't know because I think they're, the bio exam actually I've heard is not that bad. So maybe we'll make it a probably. I hear it's not that bad. Macro, macro, uh, as far as converting the college credit, it was important for me. It was a staple for me. And, uh, but there's no way that everyone needs a macroeconomic credit. So I'm going to say it's an I don't know. But maybe I'll put it in the middle. We'll put it right there. Physics C is, unless you're going to be doing some kind of engineering focused or, of course, you really want to learn about this content. And by the way, I'm not saying don't take these classes. 
I'm just talking about their efficacy as far as college credit goes. Physics C is extremely difficult. The interesting thing about Physics C, though, is that you technically you'd be getting two courses worth of credits because you have to sign up for both exams and they cover like each covers a year of content in one semester but i'd say it's not worth it for the majority of people wap hmm i didn't take world history by the way um it wasn't a it wasn't necessary to take world history and ap us history so i didn't take world history so i'll put it in the i don't know maybe someone can tell me Someone in the comments made a joke that when I was talking about WAP as world history, they thought of WAP, and I, I thought that was hilarious. Um, Euro, Euro is again, and I don't, I may even say it's a tough, because it's European history, and American institutions, apart from maybe your top institutions, tend to be very, like, America-centric. So, we'll say Euro doesn't really count that much. Um, CompSci, I claim this credit, even though I'm a business major, and, uh, I'd say it's a probs because uh, good to explore industry and usually most universities will take it because it is a pretty rigorous course where you did learn quite a lot and uh, it's fundamentals of computer science. So it's not like that differs too much from university to university. Calc AB, funny enough, really not that important. Um, I'll put in the I don't know because Calc AB credit was entirely useless for me my five on Calc BC got me my all my math credits. So I'd say Calc BC is a yup. AP Chem, um, again, unless you're taking chemistry, it can count as one of your science requirements. But yeah, it's tough. Stats was actually, I'll put it right there. For me, it was a useless exam because I have to take it again anyway. Um, it was an easy exam. If you're trying to get like those AP Scholar Awards or something like that, you can definitely take it. But as far as everything else goes, really not worth um, taking that exam. Physics 1, that's an essential, but honestly, it doesn't count much for credit. So we'll say it's the probably category. And then Spanish literature, <laughs> not worth it. Um, yeah, even more so than Spanish lang. Unless you're going to be pursuing that route of that language, I don't see the extreme value. Uh, yeah, that pretty much concludes your tier ranking. Um, guys uh all these other videos key rankings everyone seems to enjoy it hit about maybe 40,000 views total on all of these tier ranking videos so be sure to like, share it with a friend uh, it really helps me out and i'm gonna leave a form in the description if you guys want other tier rankings let me know like what kind of videos you want me to make i want to make videos that you guys really really want if you enjoy the video and got to the end you know hit that like button subscribe uh, share the video with a friend i really really appreciate all of that uh and I will see you on the next video. Peace.